to go over finding a line of reflection between two points and then writing an equation for it. So I'm going to start out here with number seven. You notice I have two points here. Now I'm trying to find the line of reflection. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a line connecting these. I think I'm going to make it a little less thick than this. God love technology. Okay, I'm going to do it here nice and red. All right, great. So now you'll notice I just drew a line between them. Now, what I want to do is I want to figure out the slope of my line. So I can identify these points. I'll do that in a different color, make it nice and clear. I'll go with blue. So all right, this is a point here, point here, point here, point here. And I want to figure out my slope. So my slope for this is going to be up 1 over 2. So I would get m equals 1 over 2. And I want to find the halfway point. Now, if you notice, I got one, two, three, four, five. Pretty easy to find the halfway point here. It's a nice, easy one right here, right here in the middle. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to create a perpendicular line. In order to do that, I know that lines that are perpendicular have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. So if the slope of my red line here, which I'll even change this to red, is one over two, I'm going to create a new line here that's green. I want the opposite reciprocal. So in this case, flip it over, make it opposite, negative 2 over 1. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line from this point in the middle here. I'm going to go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, then up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. I've got myself a nice perpendicular line. Now, to find the equation of it, I've got my slope, I give 2 over 1, and now my y-intercept is pretty easy to find right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4. So, here, that's what I did. Um, I just drew a line between the two points I was given, figured out the slope, the halfway point, and then using the opposite reciprocal for my slope, I drew another line through it. So I can do this for number 8 as well. So in this case, I've got two points. I'm going to draw a line through it. I'll do this one in pink. Here we go. So now I want to figure out the slope of my line, which is all oh, this is kind of nice and easy. Down one, over one, down one, over one. Whoops. Andrew Clemens, please report to the main office. Andrew Clemens, thank you. So I'm identifying all my points here on my line. And I want to find my halfway point. So let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Halfway point is right here. I'll do this one in green again, right here. Excellent. Now the slope of my line here is negative one over one. So now I want the opposite reciprocal. Opposite reciprocal of negative one over one is going to be positive one over one. This one's kind of easy. So that means from my center point right here, I'm going to go up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, over one. Do the same thing here. Draw myself a line. and I've got myself a perpendicular line. Now I want to figure out my equation. I'm going through, so my y-intercept here is, let's see if I shrink this down a little bit so I have more, more space. I've got y equals... Now my new slope is 1 over 1, and my y-intercept right here is 1. So I can simplify this to y equals x plus 1. So there you go. Again, the keys of what I did here. I'll write up, write up uh, my steps right here. 1. Draw a line between... The two points, second step, I identified the slope, third, I found the midpoint of my line.
And from there, let's see. Just don't mind me, I'm just shrinking some stuff down so I can keep it. From the midpoint. Use the opposite reciprocal of my slope, I'm running out of space, for a new line. So I'm going to transport this stuff. That's okay. Here we go. Whoops. Here we go. Slide this over. to make a perpendicular line. Can I squeeze it in? I did, nice. All right, so there you go. Draw a line between two points, identify the slope, find the midpoint of my line, and then from that midpoint, use the opposite reciprocal of that slope to make a perpendicular line. So that'll help you find the line of reflection. Hopefully this will help you with these examples or future examples. Thank you.